In April 2016, Psyonix added hoops to Rocket League, and ever since then people have been asking the same question. Does hoops have different physics than soccer? Now, there are a lot of different opinions on this. Some people think that the basketball is heavier, and some people think that it's lighter. Some people think that the basketball is bouncier. And some people think that it's less bouncy. Some people think that the basketball is smaller. And some people think that it's bigger. And that the gravity is different, like in Drop Shot. There's a lot going on with that one. On the other side of the argument, though, a lot of people think that the physics are exactly the same. Most of these people argue that the physics only feel different because of the difference in the map. Which is true, the dunk house is smaller and has sharper corners than the standard soccer map. Some people even tried to get Psyonix to comment officially on the matter, but they never heard a response. That is, until Devin, the community manager for Psyonix, joined the Ranked Hoops Discord server. After being asked directly if Hoops has different physics than soccer, he first responded with an uncertain, I don't think so, and then with a more confident, no. But after a few more minutes, he checked with Psyonix principal engineer, Cone, who ambiguously confirmed that the ball bounces differently. We asked for something more specific, but it was late and Devin didn't want to bother him. We never heard from them again, so we decided to take it into our own hands, do some scientific tests, and find out the answer to end the debate once and for all. To start, we programmed our own custom BacchusMod plugin to mine some data values from the game. For info on how to make your own BacchusMod plugin, you can go to the BacchusMod SDK GitHub page and join the BacchusMod Discord. Links for those will be in the description below. We use this plugin to test all possible values you can access through Bacchus Mod for the soccer ball and the basketball, including things like gravity, max speed, and collision type. Of all the values we had access to, only two of them were different between the soccer ball and the basketball. Radius, and something called Additional Car Ground Bounce Scale Z. Let's take a look at radius first. According to the values we mined, the visual radius for both the soccer ball and the basketball is 95 units, but the actual radius of the collision sphere is 95.49 for the soccer ball and 98.13 for the basketball. Now, if these values can be trusted, that means the basketball has a slightly larger collision sphere than the soccer ball. To test this further, we used our BacchusMod plugin to position the ball and camera at precise locations, once for the soccer ball and once for the basketball. You can see from these screenshots that it looks like the basketball rests on the ground slightly higher than the soccer ball does. To confirm this even further, we logged the position of each ball as it rests on the floor of DFH Stadium. The soccer ball rests at 93.14 units and the basketball rests at 98.38 units. Now looking back at the values we mined, these numbers don't add up in any way that makes sense. We don't know exactly why this is, but our theory is that the values we mined come from old or inaccurate data, and this is why we came up with tests to verify the information. Regardless though, the resting heights still prove that the basketball is in fact slightly larger than the soccer ball. So the basketball is slightly bigger, but it seems like that's not its only difference from the soccer ball. Let's take a look at this other value, additional car ground bounce scale Z. The soccer ball has a value of 0, but the basketball has a value of 1.1. So what does this value affect? To find out, we set up a series of tests with our BacchusMod plugin. First, we dropped each ball from a height of 1,000 units and observed how they bounce. The 
they seemed about the same. We also logged the positions of each ball and compared those logs. As you can see, the bounces are almost identical and the very slight difference can be accounted for by the size difference we discovered earlier. For our second test, we dropped the ball from the same height but with an initial spin. When the ball collides with something while spinning, its velocity changes slightly in the direction of the spin, and this test checks if that change in velocity is different. The bounces are still almost identical, and the very slight difference can still be accounted for by their radius difference. Since we apply the same rotational velocity to each ball, the ball with a larger radius, the basketball, has a higher linear velocity at its surface when it collides with the ground, which causes it to gain slightly more speed in that direction. So far, the radius seems to still be the only difference between the soccer ball and the basketball. For our third test, we dropped the ball from the same height, but now with a car underneath. If additional car ground bounce scale Z doesn't affect the way the ball bounces against the ground, maybe it has something to do with the way the ball interacts with a car. The bounces are still very similar, but each ball moves forward off the car at slightly different times. At this point, we couldn't explain why this was happening, since the difference was too significant to be attributed entirely to radius. So, we set up our final test. For this last test, we set our car's location to 2,000 units away from the ball, then drove straight into it at full throttle with no boost. These bounces are significantly different. The soccer ball gets launched at an angle of approximately 19.5 degrees, while the basketball gets launched at an angle of 23 degrees and reaches a peak height of about 1.4 times the peak height of the soccer ball. The basketball still bounces off the car at the same speed as the soccer ball, it just bounces at a higher angle. Now, let's go back to the previous test, where we dropped each ball onto a car. From Rocket Science's video on ball physics, we know that the impact normal of a ball hitting a car is defined by the line between the ball and car's centers of mass. Basically, the car's collision volume is a box, but the ball doesn't bounce off of it as if it was just a box. Instead, it bounces off of it as if it was a curved object, and the angle that it bounces off is determined by that line. This is why you can drive around while balancing the ball on top of your car, and why when you drive straight into the ball, it goes up instead of straight forward. In that test, the basketball stays above the car for longer than the soccer ball, meaning the impact normals of the bounces for the basketball are more vertical than the impact normals of the bounces for the soccer ball, even though the ball collides with the same point on the car. This lines up with our previous test, where we saw the basketball bounce at a steeper angle when hit with the front of the car. This leads us to believe that additional car ground bounce scale Z affects the impact normal, and we can prove this even further with Bacchus Mod. Using our custom Bacchus Mod plugin, we found a way to modify additional car ground bounce scale Z on a ball when spawning it in. For another set of tests, we set this value to 100 million to see what would happen. For the rest of this video, we'll refer to this special modified ball as the Super Pop Ball. For test 3, the ball stays on top of the car for much longer than the soccer ball and the basketball. This validates our reasoning from before for why the basketball stays on top of the car longer than the soccer ball. For test 4, the super pop ball gets launched at an angle of approximately 51 degrees and reaches a peak height of about 3.8 times as high as the normal soccer ball. This trajectory is much steeper than the soccer ball and the basketball. This leads us to our conclusion. 
Additional car ground bound scale Z is a factor applied to the Z component of the impact normal between the ball and the car. Since the impact normal is a normalized vector, this property makes ball bounces against the car steeper but not more powerful. It has nothing to do with bounciness. This is backed up by our tests that prove the ball bounces the same height from directly above the car. If the impact normal is directly vertical or directly horizontal, it would not be affected by this property. But this value isn't always applied, as its name suggests. It only applies when the car involved is on the ground. Through testing, we've determined that this means that the car's wheels are touching a surface while the car is below a certain Z value. This is confirmed by playing around with the super pop ball and logging the output of the function that returns additional car ground bound scale Z for a specific car. When the car is in the air or on the walls or ceiling, this function returns zero. It makes sense that the devs would add this property in for hoops. Since the goals are vertical, they probably found in testing the game mode that players had a hard time popping the ball high enough to get it into the goal from the ground, or maybe that players had trouble getting the ball on top of the cars in the small map. So they added this property to make it a bit easier without making the change too drastic. Now you might be thinking, what about the hoops map? Just like we did with the soccer ball and basketball, we also mined some data values from DFH Stadium and Dunkhouse, which were exactly the same. We then ran these same tests on the basketball in Dunkhouse. Unfortunately, it's impossible to spawn a normal soccer ball in Dunkhouse since the default ball type spawns a basketball if the game mode is set to hoops, and there's no option for a normal soccer ball in the ball type options. Still, the basketball tests prove that the physics for the basketball are exactly the same on DFH Stadium and Dunkhouse. So what does all of this mean? Well, it means that yes, hoops does in fact have different physics than soccer. But it's not really what anyone thought. The basketball isn't heavier or lighter. It's not more bouncy or less bouncy. It is slightly bigger, although not by enough to really make a noticeable difference in gameplay. The major difference is that the basketball bounces more vertically than the soccer ball against cars on the ground. Now, because of that requirement that the car is on the ground, this difference is pretty situational. But it does have a meaningful impact on gameplay. It makes the basketball pop up at a steeper angle, which helps to get the basketball over the rim, and it allows you to keep the basketball on top of your car while going at a slower speed than in soccer, which can help you make plays in the confined space of the dunk house. This change may throw off seasoned soccer veterans, but it makes sense for hoops and allows for more offensive options in the small map. Most of us at Ranked Hoops have said for years that the physics are the same, but until now, no one had actually bothered to thoroughly test that claim. Even if it means we were wrong, we're glad we can finally answer the question with complete confidence. Hoops does have different physics than soccer. Finally, I'd like to end with a shout out to the Bacchus Mod community, especially Martin and Cinderblock, who helped us get our plugin working. And of course, if you're interested in Hoops content, join our Discord, follow our Twitch channel, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.